Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Boyagi and I lead the DevOps Evangelism team at Atlassian. In this session, I'm going to show you the huge impact a developer experience platform can have on reducing complexity and improving developer experience from a developer's perspective. But let's start with the ultimate goal for software teams. Deliver high quality software fast. Take a look at your CIO or CTO's vision statement. Listen to them speak. Chances are they're chasing some version of this goal. And whilst it's a common goal, there's a wide spectrum of companies who manage to achieve this and those who don't. What's driving this diversity in performance? Some companies are able to drop new code into production with mind boggling frequency and very few customer impacting incidents. While other companies struggle with quarterly releases. The same technologies and knowledge resources are available to all companies. So why the big difference in outcome? This is Steve. Now Steve isn't the one causing the diversity in performance, but I thought I would use Steve as a case study to show you why there's a big difference in teams who deliver high quality software fast and those who don't. Steve was my first hire and what was to become a 60 person team. We worked together for about eight years and we became good friends during that time. Now, when Steve and I first started working together, he had a simple goal of shipping software to production. And Steve got quite a lot of joy from doing this. Now, to ship software to production, Steve obviously needed to know how to code. Of course, he did other things too, but he spent most of his time coding. Coding and shipping software made Steve happy. Now, a little while after we started working together, the shift left movement started. Our organization thought it would be a good idea if the devs also started to do the testing. So Steve was now responsible for coding and testing our software. As we matured as an industry, we adopted more and more tools to help Steve do his job. While we worked together, Steve was using around 20 different tools almost every day, covering things like CICD, monitoring and logging, security, and so on. And like many other organizations, ours recognize that good security is not implemented by an external team, but starts at the source with devs. So we shifted security left and we asked our devs to take on elements of security. We asked them to take on patching, which was previously done by the operations team and implement secure coding practices. Then something awesome happened. We adopted cloud technology. So for Steve, this meant we sent Steve off to learn about cloud. Uh, and of course, with the shift to DevOps, Steve became responsible to develop and operate his software. Now, when you take a step back, quite a lot changed in the time Steve and I worked together. These days, there's a lot that devs need to know and do in order to ship software to production. But all of this so far has been on the dev side of things. There's some additional complexity that comes with the organization we were working in. Now, in our organization, Steve needed to work with around 20 different teams in order to do his job. He needed to navigate many, many, many processes outside of simply writing and testing code. He had to navigate governance processes. Now, I say navigate because they seem to be different every time he would go through them. And of course, in every company, you get different asks that come along. Things like attending meetings, presenting at forums and mandatory training. Most of all, I think for Steve, he used to get a lot of questions about uh, from other teams wanting to use our software. Now, as we grew our team, Steve became more senior and I started to see him as like a guardian of our culture. So I asked Steve to interview new team members to make sure we're hiring the right people for our team. And once these people started in our team, who better than Steve to onboard them and make sure they're having a great experience working with us. Now, when you list all the things that Steve needed to know how to do, you can see that what used to be a simple goal of shipping software to production is not so simple after all. Needing to know and remember all these things added significant cognitive load onto Steve and the developers that we worked with. The complexity associated with shipping software to prod is primarily coming from two different places. Intrinsic complexity, 
Now, these are the things that come with being a modern day software developer. And the second place is organizational complexity, which is the additional complexity that is specific to the organization you work in. Now, this will be different for different companies. And the reason for that is some of the sources of this complexity are like the size of the engineering team that you have, the industry that your company operates in, the different processes that your company has implemented, org models uh, that you have to work within, etc. Now, both types of comple complexity contribute to the total complexity that a software team needs to navigate when delivering software in a particular organization. A lot of developer experience teams look to tackle only one type of complexity, either the intrinsic complexity associated with being a developer or organizational complexity, when in fact, both types of complexity need to be addressed if we're going to enable high performing software teams. So I'm going to show you a few examples now of how you can start to tackle some of this complexity using a developer experience platform. Okay, so the first tip, reduce the need to remember things. Now, a huge driver of cognitive load for developers is the need to remember things. For devs, a part of this is remembering where to look to find information. Now, at Atlassian, we use the component catalog in Compass to store everything we need to know about the software that a team owns. So in the component catalog, you can see which team owns a particular service. You can see which chat channel you can use to contact them. You can see who's on call in case there's an incident and you need to get in touch with them. You can find the link to the source code repository, the JIRA project the team used to track their work. You can see up and downstream dependencies and all of the information associated with those, with those dependencies. And what this means is that within Atlassian, we don't need to remember things or bookmark thousands of links. We have one URL where anyone in the company can go to find all the information they need about our software components. Now, having all this information in one place enables a culture of self-service information. Now, this means for Steve that he would get less requests from for, of information from other teams because everything is in one spot and people know where to find it. Information on demand also means that Steve can interact with less teams as they're able to get what they need without any real-time collaboration. Now, onboarding new team members also becomes easier because instead of manually sending links to hundreds of pages, Steve just sends one link that has all the context that engineers need when they're joining the team. They can see all the components that their team owns. They can find the documentation associated with it. They can get across the dependencies and find the source code. Now, this improves the onboarding experience and starts to free up Steve's time. All right, so the second tip is make it easy to meet company standards using scorecards. Scorecards are a great mechanism to communicate standards at scale. Not only do teams know upfront what they need to do, but they can see how they're tracking during their delivery cycle. The scorecards are automatic, automated and dynamic, which means there are no surprises. Now, within Atlassian, we use scorecards in Compass, our developer experience platform, to track service readiness and health. This significantly reduces cognitive load as developers don't need to go looking for standards or try and work out what they need to do or attend governance meetings. It's all baked in the platform where they work. So scorecard means Steve doesn't need to remember governance process processes or go looking for governance expectations. They're all baked into the platform right where he works every day. The governance on demand culture means Steve rarely needs to attend governance meetings or navigate the heavy processes that usually accompany these. So as you can see, we've significantly reduced organizational complexity for Steve. Now, the third tip is to make the right way the easy way. And this is an important one. A lot of the time, companies try to make it harder to do the wrong thing. Now, that is very different to making the right thing easier. Your developer experience platform is the perfect place to do that. So instead of Steve needing to work out CloudFormation, AppRunner, and EventBridge, including the settings that comply with the company standards, he can select a template in Compass and all of that is done for him. So this means there's no need to go and find the latest standards and spend time setting things up. One click and he's ready to rock and roll with a new software component. 
So this means we reduce the toil and what Steve needs to remember around provisioning cloud infrastructure. Using templates in Compass also means that pipelines are automatically configured according to company standards. So Steve can spend less time setting up tools. Having templates set up cloud infrastructure and tooling according to company standards also reduces the amount of time Steve needs to spend on applying security settings. Now, Steve still has security aspects to his role, but these tasks are high value tasks rather than low value things like applying security settings uh, to tools. There's so many more ways that using a developer experience platform can help reduce complexity and cognitive load for developers. I've shown you three basic tips or ways to do this. And just by implementing these three, we can see Steve's happy face again. Uh, and we can actually see his goal again. So some quick takeaways from this session. There are two types of complexity that developers need to deal with. Those intrinsic to the profession and those that are specific to the organization they work in. Now, platform engineering helps abstract both types of complexity, helping teams to break through complexity. At Atlassian, we use Compass to reduce the need to remember using the software catalog, make it easy to meet standards using scorecards, and we make the right way the easy way using templates. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to connect and continue the conversation, you can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, drop me a comment and we can continue the discussion there. Thanks.